the, the big change has been the participation component, and we call that informed engagement. Um, and that is, we discussed it in the first lecture, that it's informed engagement. It isn't just coming to class and, yep, that sounds really great, I agree with what so-and-so said. It, you've got to actually provide um, meaningful discussion. Students should come to tutorials prepared at a very minimum. They should have listened to the lecture, even if they haven't done the readings. They should at least have listened to the lecture. So this will be an incentive that that if they haven't listened to the lecture, don't bother coming to the to the tutorial. We've had much more robust discussions when we do meet with the students in class and online. They have listened to the lecture prior to answering any questions online. We've we've always had this idea that the tutorial should be a, a discussion, a debate, um, um, and a, a, an opportunity to work through the solution of problems. That, that subs hasn't really changed. I mean, the goal of the tutorial is, is discussion and debate. That is frequently thwarted, I find, by students coming unprepared. I mean, the, the, the silent tutorial is a problem I've been, rap I've, I've been grappling with for years now the tutorial where nobody says anything. So we have, like I said, student presentations um, and they can do anything about, they can either present on the readings, so they absolutely have to have read and engaged with the readings and a couple of other readings to kind of compare and contrast um, what one author said versus another one. Introducing systems that really do require lectures to be listened to and readings to at least be partially completed. It's probably a asking a lot that every reading should be got, the students should get to the end, but at least you know, some of it should be done. And sometimes we just sit around in a big group and talk about the, the lecture topic itself, and that often elicits a whole bunch of questions and, and conversations that, I mean, you can't plan those, um, but you can facilitate that discussion, and that's, I think that's fantastic. If students are well prepared, then shyness, they're, they're going to be less shy because they're going to be more confident that they've actually got something to say. It's a lot more enjoyable as a convener and as a lecturer to actually get some engagement where you're not just lecturing to the students. They're um, providing a lot of information too, so it's, it's a, I think, a much more enjoyable way of teaching. And, and it's going to make life easier for those students, I think, if you've put a, put a little bit of pressure on them to come to class prepared.